Hi. So I had a dream that I invented time travel. It was quite bizarre, but dreams are normally rather bizarre because that's just the way they seem, they seem to work. It wasn't last night, it was a while ago now, but I can still remember it um, quite clearly. That's probably helps helped by the fact that I made some notes about it afterwards so that I would remember. And because I thought it might be a good starter for a story, um, although I don't normally do, you know, sci-fi, um, what's the other word, fantasy-esque um, stories, but I'm sure I could if I tried, so save that for later. But the, the dream, I, the, the basics of the device, it was a telephone. You remember what is now the rather old-fashioned telephones, um, the, you know, the, the landlines with the, the handset you pick up and it's connected by a cord and you're pushing buttons to dial the number, one of those kind of phones, except it had been modified and it had like extra buttons on it and stuff. And, but also, it was, I was scared in the dream, it was like a big secret because I couldn't tell anybody that I'd invented it because people would inevitably misuse it. That's, I think, that's, um, the biggest danger with time travel, if it is ever invented by anybody, it would be top secret, they would, you know, nobody would want to invent it because it would be misused so much and the universe would just collapse in on itself, you know, it just self-destruct, that'll be the end of the world. Somebody will invent time travel and then people will abuse it and misuse it and then the world would, you know, the universe will just explode <laughs> or will implode, you know, whichever way or the degree. That's how it's gonna happen. Because um it's it's that crazy. We think it's kind of cool, wouldn't it be cool if somebody you know, if you could crowd through time, but I'm not so sure because there's so many you know, so many factors to it. Where would you be able to go? Who would be able to see you, talk to you? Would you be able to interact with anybody? You know, and if you could, you would change time just by existing somewhere that you weren't supposed to exist. Do you know what I mean? Even if you didn't talk to anybody. But they could see you. No, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. So, it just, things would be completely screwed up. Um, I mean, some people might say that time doesn't actually ex exist. It's um, something that we've invented to measure our lives you know time long ago like in the days of the cavemen time didn't exist in the way that we think of it now obviously the sun rose and the sun went down and you know the world went round every day and stuff but people didn't really <laughs> measure it the same time as something we've invented so that we know how long it's been since the sun came up this morning and how long many hours we've got left, you know, how hours is measurement, how long we've got left to go before it goes down again and how many cycles of the sun we've got before we go one turn around the sun and, you know, and that sort of thing. It's all measurements and measuring, you know, measuring our, our lives. Um, by age and stuff and years, it's all it's all measurements, a way to measure our lives. So, since time itself is a human invention, then time travel is that even possible in the way that we think of it? Because obviously things are moving and changing all the time, but I don't know. It's a, it's, it's an interesting thought. I've got on quite a track from what I was saying anyway. Um, the the device, as with everything awesome, it would get misused. Even if you, you know, were like super tech, the most tech savvy person in the world, and you could do like pretty much anything, and you made it as safe as you could, people would still find a way to get around your safety features. They would find ways to cut corners and get past these things because. People are like that. People are very inventive, especially technologically minded people. People who feel like they can do pretty much anything. They they will do anything because anything is possible, and they will find ways around these um, safety walls and doors and stuff um, in the technology, and they will get past it. So, if it was 
made public, the world would just go mad and the world would end pretty much, you know. Nobody would be left in this time or any time in the future because they would all be going back and forth and it would just be completely messed up. But it's a weird thought. Um, and if it was, of course, you can imagine the government, if they got hold of it and it was a secret, it was sort of like the, the men in black. It's There's questions whether they exist and, you know, they're so secretive. If they do actually exist, they're so secretive, it's like they don't exist, you know what I mean? It's, like it's It would be that sort of thing. It would be like um, whispers and possibilities not many people would hear about it because they would keep it off the news and, you know, they would do their best to, to limit the damage, if you like, so that nobody knew it actually existed. It would just be a rumour that it was possible, you know, or something like that. So, And they would... I don't know what they would do with it. It would be... It would have to be... Um, there would have to be something in it for them. Perhaps it would be some sort of new um, weapon of war, you know, <laughs> be able to travel through time and... Maybe travel to through you know time and places, not just in the spot where you are traveling to a different point in its exact spot. You'd be teleporting with it as well, perhaps, and going to different places. Or they would, you know, find a way to add that as a feature and make that real thing. And then anything's possible. And you know, they would <laughs> they would find ways, and they would just take over the whole world. Whatever gun government country had this device, they would they would just take over the whole world and destroy it because that's what people in power do. They just take something good and they they destroy with it or they destroy it so that it's not good anymore um anyway that, that's an interesting thought really I'm time travel I've always thought that anything is possible literally anything I've probably said this before in a video but a wise man or person I don't know where the quote's from once said if you can if you can dream it it can be done and and that's so accurate things which you may think you know that is impossible that is literally impossible the correct way to describe it would be it's improbable but not impossible because nothing's impossible because one day our capabilities and our technology will advance to the point where you know, all these things which are science fiction are going to be real, or real, or, you know, possible that they can be real, like in realistic terms, not just like a daydream. <laughs> so, it is possible that one day, if it doesn't already exist in secret, it is going to exist. And that's, I guess, in a, I guess considering everything I've just talked about, that is a scary possibility. <laughs> you know, all the, the films about time travel, you think it's awesome, but. I don't think it is. Um, I think, um, like, um, what's it, Back to the Future, the famous one from the 80s, he he travelled through time and he accidentally messed things up and it was all an accident, but at the end, the end point, his life was better than it had been before if, you know, things, time had just have rolled on as it was supposed to. But I think he got off lightly. I mean, obviously that's the story, but Excuse me, if you think about it in realistic terms, he got off lightly. I think if any of us, you or me, if, did something like that, it, we would completely screw up our lives in, in some insane way because people just <laughs> do crazy things and things get crazy. But, um, well, I should probably end it there because I've I think I didn't have a plan of exactly what I was going to say, but I think I've probably talked about pretty much everything that I can talk about in relation to that. Although it's such a huge, wide-ranging subject, it could I could probably talk forever if I really tried. So I hope you found it interesting, and it's given you something to think about. And if you have anything to say, of course, as always, please leave a comment. And um, if you liked it, like the video. And if you are new here, um, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Have a good day.